hey guys you already know about binary classification so let's say you know you have an email and you want to classify it as a normal email or a spam email so number of classes are two you call such a classification task as a binary classification and in a handwritten digit recognition let's say you have a handwritten image of the digit 3 you want to classify that you know which digit it belongs to from 0 to 9 so you actually have 10 classes so whenever number of classes are more than two you call it as a multi-class classification it turns out that there are two further types namely multi-level and multi-task and they have lot of real life applications at the same time lot of research is happening for them because conventional classified design doesn't work for them so in today's video tutorial we'll focus on understanding the definition of each one of them look at some example and also understand the difference between them let's look at a tasks of news article classification so, you know, you have uh, some news articles available and you want to classify that which category that news belongs to, whether it is a sports news, whether it is an entertainment news or it is a crime news. Okay. So you can, of course, call it as a multi-class classification. And for simplicity, we have only considered three news categories. There can be several of them. It turns out that uh, this definition, this classification may not be so what at night okay let's look at an example here a crime is happening to a cricketer his car is broken into and his wallet is stolen which category this will go to now this can go to sports this can go to crime also and actually this should go to both similar example now a theft is happening at an actor's house can potentially go to both entertainment and crime and should actually go to both another news where it is about a prominent cricketer whose wife also happens to be a top actor any news about them will be an entertainment news as well as a sports news so our conventional thinking of multi-class classification is challenged here right so here a article can belong to multiple categories with different probability okay and which we can visualize like this right now let's look at another example here we are thinking of movie genre classification so there will be a movie given some description about the movie we need to identify it whether it is a romantic movie or whether it is a tragedy movie whether it is a war movie courtroom movie something like that okay however let's look at a popular movie of 2019 joker and you see IMDB has, you know, put multiple labels against this movie, okay? So it is not only crime, not only drama, but not only thriller. It actually belongs to all the categories. So these three labels, these multiple labels gives the name of multi-level classification. So in a normal classification task, we have a data set like this, okay? However, in multi-level classification, my data set would look something like this, okay? And one simple strategy, one simple strategy to uh, use a classifier is a probabilistic classifier. You can use a probabilistic classifier and whenever the probability is beyond the threshold, you can put it into multiple classes. However, how do you train such classifier? So for that, you know, we have something called as a class-specific binary classifier. So where we actually change or tweak the data set a little bit. So what we do is we actually create, you know, one uh, extra column for one class. So here, you know, there are three classes. So what we have done is we have created three uh, dummy variables over here, each corresponding to one of the classes. And wherever, you know, a particular instance belongs to a class, we have put the value 1 over there. And if it doesn't belong to that class, we have put it as 0. So, you know, x100 belongs to all of c1, c2, c3. So, you see it is 1, 1, 1 for each one. Right? Again, x3 belongs only to c2. So, we have only put this one as 1. 
so then it turns out that we can we can treat them separately as uh, separate target variables and field classifiers all right another example or another approach is called as classifier chain so here what happens is that first we assume that x is or we take only the independent variables and then we try to predict c1 so once c1 is predicted we take this also as an independent variable and use the, this two and try to predict C. Similarly, when you move to the next level, you take all of these as the independent variable and you try to predict C3. However, you do understand that this is only possible when there is a relation between them. That some way C1 should cause C2 and some way C1, C2 both should cause C3. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the definition of multitask classification. So it is quite normal with human behavior. So you know when we are reading a storybook, so we are of course learning the story or of course we are understanding the story. But at the same time, we are learning about different places the story is talking about. Maybe we are learning about new words also. We are learning about the language. Right? So at the same time, you are you are with the same data, but different type of learnings are happening. Right? So this type of learning is also called as multi-class, multi-output classification and also called as joint classification. Let's look at a simple example. Let's say you have been given image of some of the fruits. Okay? So a classification task can be to identify why, what kind of uh, fruit that image consists of. So is it an apple, is it an orange, or is it a pear? At the same time, you may also want to understand that what is the color of that. Is it a green, is it red, or is it orange? Okay. So, you know, same data, you are using same data over here, but you are using it for multiple tasks, you see. Okay, so earlier when we are looking at multi-level, okay, so these multi-levels would come from the same domain, right, same news category. Here, they, are, they come from completely separate domain, okay, so one is about fruit, another is about color, alright. So let's look at some other examples, so you want to classify the genre of a mu mu uh, music as well as you want to identify the artist. So music is the common data element and you have two tasks. Uh, you know, you are using a speech uh, to find the word as well as the emotion of the spoken word. All right. So these type of things, you call it as a multitask classification. And one of the approaches can be, again, treat them separately. However, the targets can have some association. Like here, you know that if it is an apple, you know, most probably it will be red, okay? If it is an orange, then the color is also going to be orange, all right? So, which makes it a very, very interesting task. So, I hope in today's short video, we could give you an understanding of multitask and multi-level classification and you understood how it is different from a multi-class classification. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our video. If you have found it helpful, please like and subscribe.